So we start the the simulation here, the 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 talking about the spatial interpolation with Kriging in, in, in a package actually, but um, we do we need to do uh, to have different things. We need to have a, a way to estimate the experimental variogram, meaning taking all the measure measurements, calculating the first the two points uh, uh, covariances, and then the variogram, two point uh, variogram, and then reducing to the isotropic variogram that we need. Then we have to estimate the theoretical variogram, and finally to solve the linear system. Okay, a lot, uh, uh, the, then you have to solve the linear system. I don't know why it is uh, blocking, but this is for instance, uh, one case, one case of use. Uh, you, you first calculated the, the experimental variogram, then you, f you fit the variogram, And, uh, but you need to have a, a, a way to bring the, the, to bring the experimental, the theoretical variogram over the experimental variogram. For instance, here you have, a, a, you have a, a, the, the, red, the red variogram, which is the first guess, for instance, for having, uh, for having a variogram, while the, experimental variogram is the blue line here. Uh, so um, so what, what is going on here? We have to move the red one over the, the blue one. And we, we need to have tools for doing that. For instance, uh, calibration tools. Among the choices that we have, so we have a, a, here I say 11 because I am looking at the particular program, but in other cases there can be more than 11. Uh, you have models for a theoretical uh, variogram or semi-variogram as I call here. You can have also different Kriegings. I will uh, go back on on these topics maybe later. Different Kriegings may be, we just de um, derived the, the expression for the simple Kriegings. But uh, we, can have, we can have other cases. I added maybe something in the, in the, um, in the page about the different type of Kriegings. One is the ordinary one that we saw but um, in some cases, we can also, also have a trend. Uh, think, for instance, to the temperature. Everybody knows that temperature is uh, usually decreasing with uh, elevation, at least when the atmosphere is not stratified and, and is neutral. And that usually this trend is uh, um, being between 5 and 10 uh, Celsius degrees. So if we know that, uh, we can uh, interpolate first to the data a, a polynomial, a, a plan, a local, locally a plan where we, the trend, take away the trend of the data. We consider the, diff the, the residuals on the trend and then we do ordinary Kriegings. This is what, what we call the trended Kriegings. Uh, it can be local or global, meaning if you have a lot of data in a region, we can consider just a a radius and the, the a group of stations inside a, a certain region or fix the number of a, fix the number of a points that we consider not all the points but just a few uh, from the point of view of, of the programming when uh, we we also have to to consider that we we can produce just one point on several several points together. So, 
to explain a little bit the question. Um, uh, to explain a little bit the questions, il, uh, that arise, we this is we are doing. We have this point, this yellow point to forecast, and we have the red point where we have the measurement. We can do an ordinary cridging to taking in account all the points. Instead, we can um, consider a local cridging where we consider all the points that are inside the radius here. And uh, in case we can consider a, or not consider the trend, meaning we can try to interpolate a plan which is going with elevation, meaning temperature as a function, of, a linear function of elevation, which can be either global, like in this case, or local, like in this other case. So more or less, this is all of what I have to say about the, the various options we have in, uh, in the case of uh, applying 